Hello, welcome to our new series 500 Physiotherapy MCQs Part 1. We have given explanation to each and every question in the description box and detailed explanation inside the telegram channel. Now, do not waste much time. Let's move to our question number 1. Non-myelinator fibers is Option A, A alpha, Option B, A beta, Option C, A gamma, Option D, C fibers. And the answer is Option D, C fibers. Now let's move to question number 2. Straight leg raise test is positive in Option A, spinal stenosis, Option B, spinal abscess, Option C, also called a Stendenberg test, Option D, prolapsed in the vertebral disc. And the answer is Option D, prolapsed in the vertebral disc. Now let's move to question number 3. Which of the following is true about the gait in sensory deficit? Option A, analgestic gait. Option B, apraxia. Option C, Tendenberg. Option D, positive Romberg sign. And the answer is Option D, positive Romberg sign. Now let's move to question number 4. What cell type secretes surfactant? Option A, plasma cell. Option B, type 1 alveolar cell. Option C, type 2 alveolar cell. Option D, type 3 alveolar cell. And the answer is Option C, type 2 alveolar cell. Now let's move to question number 5. Pathological fractures are found in Option A, bone cyst. Option B, osteoporosis. Option C, chronic osteomyelitis. Option D, all of the above. And the answer is Option D, all. Now let's move to question number 6. Level of the lower border of a length at the mid axillary line is Option A, 6th rib. Option B, 8th rib. Option C, 10th rib. Option D, 12th rib. And the answer is Option B, 8th rib. Now let's move to question number 7. Distal interpharyngeal joint involvement not occurs in Option A. Button diet deformity Option B. Swan neck deformity Option C. Mallet finger Option D. Trigger finger And the answer is Option D. Trigger finger Now let's move to question number 8. In an adult man, the glomerular filtration rate is expected to be Option A. 225 ml per minute, option B 325 ml per minute, option C 125 ml per minute, option D 25 ml per minute and the answer is option C 125 ml per minute. Now let's move to question number 9. Adductor magnus is innervated by which of the following? Option A, femoral nerve. Option B, obturator nerve. Option C, deep peroneal nerve. Option D, lateral plantar nerve. And the answer is Option B, obturator nerve. Now let's move to question number 10. Commonest cause of acute osteomyelitis. Option A, trauma. Option B, surgery. Option C, fungal infection. Option D, hematogenous root. And the answer is Option D, hematogenous root. Now let's move to question number 11. All are true about the pod spine except Option A, thoracic vertebra T6 to T8 is most commonly affected site. Option B, paradiscal is commonest variety. Option C, muscular rigidity and stiffness is common. Option D, back pain is commonest presenting symptom. And the answer is Option A, thoracic vertebra T6 to T8 is most commonly affected site. Now let's move to question number 12. Presence of muscle fibrillation indicates which of the following? Option A, hyper excitability of the motor unit. Option B, high neural discharge rate. Option C, loss of muscle innervation. Option D, upper motor neuron defect. And the answer is Option C, loss of muscle innervation. Now let's move to question number 13. The development of first connection tissue from non-synovial joint is called as Option A, syndosmosis. Option B, synchondrosis. Option C, symphysis. Option D, suture. 
and the answer is option B synchondrosis now let's move to question number 14 the progression of nerve impulse with the node of Renvir is called dash option A saltatory conduction option B transmission option C unmalinated conduction option D relative conduction and the answer is option A saltatory conduction now let's move to question number 15 fracture site of Motangia fracture is option A proximal ulna option B distal end of the radius option C distal radius option D lower radio ulna joint dislocation and the answer is option A proximal ulna now let's move to question number 16 which is not the test for the anterior cruciate ligament option A Lichman's test option B Apley's grinding test option C pervert shift test option D anterior drawers test and the answer is option B Apley's grinding test now let's move to question number 17 kidneys produce option A erythropoietin option B ADH option C angiotensin 2 option D ANP and the answer is option A erythropoietin now let's move to question number 18 in Ponzi technique the last deformity into get corrected in CTEV Option A, Equinus. Option B, Talipus. Option C, Varus. Option D, Cavus. And the answer is... Option A, Equinus. Now let's move to question number 19. The head of the femur received blood supply from... Option A, Medial and Lateral Femoral Artery. Option B, Medial and Lateral Circumflex Artery. Option C, Medial and Lateral Iliac Artery. Option D. Medial and Lateral Gluteal Artery. And the answer is... Option B. Medial and Lateral Circumflex Artery. Now let's move to question number 20. Stretches transversing the lesser sciatic foramen include all of the following except. Option A. Fudendal Nerve. Option B. Inferior Gluteal Nerve. Option C. Tendon of the Obturator Externus. Option D. Internal Fudendal Artery. And the answer is... Option B, inferior gluteal nerve. That's all for today. If you have any doubts, please mention in the comment box. I think you have learned something valuable today. See you in the next session. That's part 2. Thank you and bye bye.